plaintiff, Tisha Glacken, was friends with the defendant, and they smoked pot and meth together. But Tisha turned her life around after her mother got sick. Tisha is suing her former friend for the cost of a truck. Defendant Ralph Bowl admits that he and Tisha were friends, but he insists they never used drugs together. Ralph is countersuing for harassment and emotional distress. Start with you. Hi, I've known Ralph all my life. What type of friendship have you all had all your life? Um, we've gotten along fine, except for, um, I mean, I've, I've, be honest with you, I've done drugs with him and I've smoked pot and I've smoked meth, but I turned my life around when my mom when got sick. When was the last sick. time you smoked meth? Okay. 2013, my mom got How did sick. You stop? I took care of her. How did you stop? Uh, while I was taking care of her, I realized I need to turn my life around and I quit doing it cold turkey. Okay, how long were you addicted to meth? I was addicted to meth for about five years, probably. Okay, and you just said, I think I'll stop and never did it again. My mom got sick and- I heard that. I'm, I'm yeah, asking I, you very basic and clear okay. questions. Yeah, yes. Okay, don't believe you. Okay. And I don't want the viewers to believe you. Okay. All right, so let's move ahead. And um, so- Let me go to you. I was shaking her up a little because yeah. I wouldn't spread false information to millions of people. Go ahead. I've known her forever. I don't, I don't, I don't sit around and smoke a mat. I ain't smoking nothing with her. I want to have, you know, what we got a, we got a problem been, with, huh? What has your friendship been with her over the years? Well, I just, I've known her. She helped me. I had it. I, you know, I had a house. I was re making rehab at a house down in Lake Adell in Cedar Hill, which you know nothing about, but you know, she'd come by and bring me a sandwich or if she brought me beverages. You never had a problem. Yeah. Until it's this incident good. or whatever you're being sued for. Right. All right. Okay. How long were you addicted to math? I was addicted to meth for about five years, probably. Okay, and you just said, I think I'll stop. I never did it again. My mom got sick and- I heard that. I'm not yeah, asking I... you very basic and clear okay. questions. Yeah, yes. Okay, don't believe you. Plaintiff Tisha Glacken was friends with the defendant, and she claims they used to smoke pot and meth together. I'm here from you. He ends up asking me if I wanted to buy a truck of his that he got repoed. It was the last day to get it. So I told him that I would, and I got a cashier's check for $6,500. We went to the, um, down to title company. We paid for it. He gave me the title and the paperwork from him. I got my cashier's check here. Can you see it, please? And, and um, we couldn't get the truck that day. So he, we had to go back Monday to get it. My boyfriend took him to over to get the truck Monday and he was supposed to bring it back to me. He did not bring it back to me. I've called him numerous times, asked him if I can get my truck or my money or whatever. And he just doesn't answer or doesn't respond to me. On the phone or text? You haven't talked to him? I've I talked to him on the phone and he would. He would just go quiet? He would he, just go he silent? He would tell me that he was going to clean the truck up and then bring it over to me. And then it got to where okay. he wouldn't answer my phone calls. I send him a text. He The last conversation text. and text you had, he just denied having it? Yes. Oh, no, he had it. He know, he said he had it. He just had to get it cleaned up and then he'd bring it to so me, but never did. he continues to tell you that? Yes. Okay. All right, sir. We did agree on getting the truck out, okay? That's the only thing. We didn't agree. I said at one, if I, when I sold the truck, she would get a portion of her, she'd get her money back. So but her she truck. She let me on it, right. Her truck. Right. No, my truck. Go ahead. It's always been my truck. Go ahead. Never. She has title. They illegally I signed the she title has the and title. sent it off. She has the title. It's hers. Yeah, but. <laughs> it's hers. They illegally signed it. I got a title too. Okay. Let me see it. Well, here's where. Title. And you saying well, this title? I, it's all my. This title indicates you currently own it, sir. Yes. All right. Let me see if this title okay, indicates. Got a loan on it. Pardon me. I've got a loan on it. Your she Honor. says she has a clean title she, without a loan on it, right? Yes. Okay. So you never smoked crystal meth with her? No. Nope. I don't. Okay. Nope. She said y'all used to together. Stand up, sir. Stand up. State your name. My name is Scott Lovett. I'm Tisha's boyfriend. Uh huh. And whenever we got the truck, and then Ralphie got it back. 
He parked his truck in her front yard, acting like he was all proud of it. He comes in the house and puts a pipe down with some meth, and she tells him, get your stuff and get out of my house, Ralph, you know? So he's a liar about What are you saying? saying? She pre- you were there? Yes. When he presented her with some he meth and she said, and get out? Is that what you're saying? Stuff, yeah. What? He walked in there, put a pipe and some stuff on the table, and, and went to party. Hey, have you ever used crystal meth, sir? Out. Me? Yes. Yes, I have. Yeah. But I can still. But what? I can still focus and think, so. You haven't quit. I haven't quit. All right, sir. Well, have a seat. Thank all you. All right, ma'am. You're not mm-hmm. high today, are you? What's that? No, are you high right <laughs> now? No, I'm not. Okay, because you show symptoms. Real quick talk I and all of that, talk. and I can see your eyes dark, and you show symptoms, and you agree that you still get high. That's why I'm asking. That's all. Yeah. You're the only one not admitting today. <laughs> Talk to him long enough, he gonna admit it. <laughs> no, sir. I know you aren't, sir. This is a vehicle release form. Who handed me this? He did. All right, you said it was the title. My title, I got the title. I don't need. That's what I, I asked you that, for. Sir. Pardon me. I, That's what you presented on, to me phone. as title. You said here's the title. That's a vehicle release form right. from a what? A tow company or something? Yeah, for the the owner of the truck. That's what you want me to believe is the title. Uh, You have an estimate for the car, the value? It's $6,500. All right, you have that evidence. That's this? Yes. All right, I'll grant you your judgment. The maximum we can give you is $5,000. I believe you, and sir, I believe you tried to perpetrate a fraud against the court by presenting me with something that is different from what you said. You said you had a title. After she presented me with her legal title, you said you have one. Hand me this, and it's a vehicle release from a tow yard. Have a good day. Your claim dismissed, yours is granted. Oh, Ralph. Wow. I've got a title. Loser. It's my truck.